What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And today, the San Francisco Giants have made some roster moves. And another member of the 2020 draft class is about to make his major league debut. This is a guy who was taken even higher than Casey Schmidt. And Casey Schmidt has been absolutely phenomenal since his promotion. It's one of the hottest major league starts that I've ever seen hands down and now we'll get to see what patrick bailey can do and he was taken even higher than schmidt bailey was taken in the first round 13th overall in the 2020 draft and he has shown a lot of promise in the minor leagues he has had some injury issues he's had some problems staying on the field but in 2021 he hit 322 with san jose in 47 games this year, in Richmond and AA, he was hitting 333 when he got promoted to AAA earlier this month. And in a little bit of time in AAA, he's only hitting 216, but he does have a couple of home runs. But I've been watching him. I've been going to River Cats games, and I can tell you this guy's really good. He's got a good arm, and he hits the ball hard. And I said the same thing about Casey Schmidt. It's not like Casey Schmidt was doing next level stuff at AAA. He was hitting solid. He looked really good. He was hitting over 300. Casey Schmidt was but he wasn't looking like a freaking Hall of Famer and a legend and the greatest of all time, which is what he's looked like so far. And I'm not saying that's going to continue necessarily at that level, but he has just looked amazing. He has gotten better at the major league level. So I'm really excited. You never know what you're going to see. And Patrick Bailey is a major leaguer because Joey Bart is going on the injured list. Now, Joey Bart, obviously second overall pick. Also a guy who was supposed to be great so far in his major league career. It's been relatively disappointing, but this year he was hitting well. He was hitting over 300 for a while, but with not much power at all. He wasn't driving in many runs. It just hasn't been that impressive. And then he's gone into a slump lately and his batting average has really dipped. So Joey Bart's going to go on the 10 day IL and we're going to get an opportunity to check out Patrick Bailey. And if Bailey plays well, he might stick and we'll see what happens because the Giants obviously also have Blake Sable, a Rule 5. You can't really get rid of Sable unless you send him back to Pittsburgh. And Sable has been pretty good this year. At least, you know, he's he had some nice timely hits and some clutch hits, like a walk-off home run, for instance. So I'm not sure I'm ready to get rid of him. So we'll have to see. Bailey It may not, maybe end up going back to the minor leagues. We'll have to wait and see there. But also, Ryan Walker has been selected from AAA. This is a 2018 draft pick taken all the way down in the 31st round. So a, a pretty damn late draft pick. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe he is the first player from that round to be promoted to the big leagues. So congratulations to Ryan Walker. He has earned it throughout a long minor league career as a low draft pick. You just have to be phenomenal to ever make it. And he has done that. 1.69 ERA in 2018 with San Jose. 0.96 ERA in 2021 with Richmond. And this year with Sacramento, 0.89 ERA, 15 appearances, 20 and a third innings pitched. He has struck out 23 batters, allowing just nine hits. And last year, 2022, a huge sample size in Richmond and AA. He went 7-2 and two with a 3.35 ERA in 43 appearances, 56 strikeouts in 45.2 innings. He has done it. For a long time, he has a great arm, and I am very, very confident he will pitch better than Ross Stripling, who has pitched very poorly and has been very disappointing. And we're trying to win games. Coming off of a sweep of the Phillies, are we trying to make the playoffs? Are we trying to be the best team we can or not? I understand you spend a lot of money on Ross Stripling. You can't really just DFA him right now, but you got to do something. You got to say something's wrong with you. And he has gone on the IL. And obviously he felt a little something in his last start and came out early. So I don't wish for injury on anybody, but I do think that some time on the IL and then maybe a little rehab assignment in AAA can help. Because Ross Stripling had a great year last year with the Blue Jays, but this year it's not there. So I'm happy about these two moves. Obviously, I think this is going to make the Giants a lot better. Patrick Bailey over Joey Bart right now and Ryan Walker over Ross Stripling right now, I think is going to make this team better. Long term, we'll see. We'll see how these two guys do. We'll see how Bart and Stripling do when they come off the IL eventually. But anyway, I'm happy about this. Cal Stevenson has been DFA'd. 
Picked him up from the A's. He never really did anything when he got promoted. He didn't do much in AAA. So he's had a bit of time to prove what he can do. And unfortunately, he hasn't really done much. I liked him. I was a fan. I was rooting for him, but didn't really work out for him. So that's all the moves. Oh, yeah. Also, Elliot Ramos. Another big, big prospect for the Giants who has not really done much, neither at the big league level or even at the AAA level. Uh, Elliot Ramos... Hit 227 last year in AAA, and that was a huge sample size. 427 at bats, 11 home runs, and then he got promoted to the Giants. With the Giants, he went two for 20, and then this year he is hitting 262, marginally better. I'm sure we'll see him again, but as of now, he has a right oblique strain, and it's not a, a light strain because we're talking about 60-day IL. So. Elliot Ramos is going to be gone for a while. Hopefully we'll see him again down the road. And, uh, you know, I haven't completely given up on him, but he hasn't really shown much yet, especially not at the big league level. So we'll see. These are the moves I just wanted to discuss. Super happy for Patrick Bailey and Ryan Walker. I feel even happier for Ryan Walker because, like I said, late round draft pick, and he has had to really grind through the minor leagues to get this opportunity. Patrick Bailey, though, first round pick. So obviously super excited to see what he can do. So let's go Giants. Today, tonight, we'll be taking on the Miami Marlins who have played good baseball 23 and 21 this year. Game one tonight. So let's go Giants and we will see you all here for the post game show. I hope you all have a pleasant evening, pleasant day, and we will talk to you then. Let me know what you think about Patrick Bailey and Ryan Walker. I think this makes this team a lot better, significantly better. All due respect to Joey Bart. I don't think he was doing what he needed to do. Um, and hopefully he'll come around later. But I love Patrick Bailey and all due respect to Ross Tripling. But he was definitely not doing what he needed to do. So let's go and we'll talk to you guys next time.